It's hard to believe just how popular this tool has been and how many of you wanted me to review it. So, let's get into it. This is the Makita XGT 40V Max AS001G dust blower. This is the New Zealand slash Australian version and it comes with five nozzles. Where you live you may get different nozzles. There are a lot of different attachments for this tool. So we'll get into that shortly. But first let's get it out of the box. Now at first it may look a bit top heavy. A bit bulky in the head department there. But it's super light. It feels like it's made of polystyrene. It just feels really light. 850 grams. This is the Makita DTD-171 impact driver or the XDT-16 if you're in the States and it weighs 885 so it's lighter than this but as you can see size wise much bigger. If at any point during the video you want to buy one take a look in the description there will be some links but bear in mind if it is January 2022 you are unlikely to find this in most parts of the world there's only one place I can guarantee you will find it and that's New Zealand so if you are in New Zealand and you want one take a look down in the description there will be a link to handy hardware click there they had a couple left um, whether they still do I don't know better get onto them quick um, if you're anywhere else in the world uh, there may not be any links, not yet. If you're watching it a few months after I've made this video, hopefully I will have found some links and I will put them down below. I've noticed Makita in New Zealand are now starting to use these funny papery bags like the Japanese use, so that's good to see. There's another one here from the impact wrench. It's even got Japanese characters still on the bag there. Anywho, in that bag is the adapters that come with this particular model. Like I say, you may get different ones where you live. So as I understand it, this one you would use as a blower. Basically like your air gun on your air compressor, that's what you'd use that one for. This one, inflating large things, air beds, that sort of stuff. This one, inflating smaller things, beach balls, get that nozzle right in there. That one, yeah, not too sure what that one's for. And this one's more of a wide duster, gives 120 degrees of spread of your air there. So, and this one is soft and rubbery. The nozzles are dead easy to put on, a bit like a one-handed quick release uh, impact driver chuck. Just push it on, done. Make sure it's right in there though and it's clicked on top and bottom because if you haven't got it hooked on right, I've noticed you end up with a, a funny sort of sound. You know when it's not on right because it yeah the air sounds a bit weird. So that's how you put it on to get it off. Pull the collet back, turn your attachment to the right and it just pops off like that. Super easy. As well as these five attachments, there are also nozzles that pop inside one of these so that you can blow out holes when you've drilled concrete for putting in bolts, concrete anchors, that sort of stuff. That would be super handy. I wish that came in the kit. Also, there's one with a tube on it with a nozzle on the end for getting into awkward spots. I don't know how readily available the extra attachments are going to be yet because this is still pretty hard to find itself but I did try this tubing with this particular fitting and that fits in there nicely so this is 10 millimeter clear vinyl tube um, so I can make my own nice long dusting wand here if I wish but as well as blowing she does also suck how does that work you say well there are attachments for suction as well if you remove the back here turn it and then pluck her out you have a air filter there some other filters here. You can get a HEPA filter for this. Um, the HEPA filter comes in this section here, I believe. But if you want to just suck air out of a mattress or you want to vacuum seal something like clothing bags, you're going on holiday, you want to store something, that sort of stuff, then you can put an attachment in the back here with a big hose on it, like a vacuum sort of hose, and then that has the same attachment setting like this has on the front and a bunch of other attachment rubber nozzles and stuff for deflating things so you can blow up and you can blow down or unblow or suck whatever word you want to use for that it has a screw and slot area the same as most of the drills and impact drivers impact wrenches on both sides for putting a hook um, it didn't actually come with a hook it's got that spot for it but they didn't give you one not to worry I do have a few of those but it would have been nice if they'd given you one. There is a metal loop on the top here which you could put a lanyard through or a carabiner or something like that so you can hook it on a tool belt 
but you could use one of the clips like I say, like you do on your drill and impact driver, if you wish to carry it around with you. A lot of guys are going to want to carry one of these around, I think, because it has so many uses. I can't believe how many things I've used it for already and how it's already got me out of a pickle. It has four speed settings, but it does also have a variable speed trigger. It has an LED light, and that's almost all you need to know, probably. It's brushless, of course. People still keep asking me that. Oh, is it brushless? Um, yeah, it's pretty rare for Makita to release a tool these days that isn't brushless. It's an XGT tool, so it is 40 volt max or 36 volt, and it can put out 1.1 cubic meters of air per minute. Whereas this 18 volt one puts out 2.6 cubic meters of air per minute. So you'd think that'd be blowing much quicker than this. But no, this can blow more than twice as fast as this. This puts out air real quick. This can do up to 200 meters a second. That sounds crazy. Now, I wanted to test the speed of that, but I couldn't actually find a non inanimate and one of them wind speed checkers that was higher than 30 meters or 35 I think I found one at meters per second so not much use for testing something like this right up you could test it a long way away from the nozzle but sort of what's the point of that so if anyone knows of one that'll do over 200 meters per second then let me know down in the comment section it has a safety trigger lockout if you wish like many tools this shape have and if you're a fan of the inflator and the no lock on trigger, well, look at this button here. Da da! This has a trigger lock on it. I knew that'd make you happy. And I guess the last thing to tell you before we go and use this thing is it's made in China. First up, queen size airbed. So that was about a minute and a half of you take off the faffing around at the end in the beginning while I was setting it up. So minute and a half, I'm happy with that. I'm pretty sure this will do it quicker. This is what I normally use to blow up an air mattress, but it's not quite as precise. You don't have the nice fitting on the end. You just sort of got to line up the holes, pull the trigger. You have to sit there the whole time holding it, of course. But we'll see how long it takes with that just for comparison so you can see whether it's worth it for you or not. Before we do that though, let's just take a look at the battery here. Four bars still, okay, that's good. Got the 2.5 amp hour on at the moment. So this one, 30 seconds roughly, this one roughly a minute and a half. So one minute difference between them, this one three times slower than this one. So if all you want to do is blow up air mattresses, well, that's the way to go. But of course, this thing does much more than that. I was using the fairly large nozzle there for that particular task, but for the next task, I think we'll stick on this smaller nozzle here. Is it on? It's on. Because we're going to blow a keyboard. My wife was going to throw out this keyboard and I said, no way, I can use that in my upcoming video for my dust blower. Because it'd be perfect for cleaning keyboards, one would assume. Incidentally, it's stinking hot today. I've got the CF002G, the Makita 40 volt fan going behind me. And it's nice just having it blowing on my legs because it's I'm cooking in here at the moment. And it's great that I can have it running with the camera going because the old 18 volt one I've got, you could never do that because it's so damn noisy. So I'm liking that fan already. There's a heads up before, the, before we even get to the review on that one. But anyway, let's have a go with this. I think I'll put it on the the lowest mode. You don't have to pull the trigger to set the mode buttons, you can just push it whenever you feel like it, which is nice. Unlike impact drivers, we often have to pull the trigger first. So let's just give this a blow, see how we go here.
Now, I don't know how much stuff you saw coming out there, but there was quite a lot of shit coming out of that thing. Um, and it's actually cleaned most of the dust off the surface as well, which is good because that's been sitting around for a long time. It's a wonder it wasn't all stuck to it. Anyway, job done. Your days are finished, Mr. Keyboard. I now have the fan behind me cranked onto full blast. I just want to know roughly how loud it's going to be in this shot. Let me know down below if it's annoying. <laughs> because um, it'd be nice if I could have this running in future videos. Anyway, this nozzle here that I didn't know what it was, it says, according to the manual, blowing air into confined spaces, corners, and spaces by the walls to dust off. Okay, so there you go. It's got those extra sort of slots around the side there, so quite sure how that's going to work. Let's, um, let's go try it on something. I opened the car bonnet the other day and saw all this shit in there, and I thought, what a stupid design. How am I going to get that out? And what about all the dust and shit that ends up on the top of your dashboard? And the crap that builds up in your door handle wells? This would probably be awesome just as a car detailing tool. All the dust and shit that gets into awkward places that you can't quite get a vacuum in and the vacuum just doesn't have enough suck for it. Well, maybe you can give it a go with this. This is going to come in super handy. Heat pump, air conditioning filters, dehumidifier filters, great for cleaning all that sort of stuff. Unfortunately, I cleaned these just the other day before I got this thing, so... If you have a Dyson vacuum cleaner, you'll be familiar with one of these stupid, annoying, pain in the ass, bloody filters. Now, when you need to clean this, according to Dyson, you stick it under your tap and let water flow through it, and then let it sit for 24 hours to dry before you put it back on your machine. Now, that's no good if you're in a hurry and you want a vacuum, because the problem with this thing is, when it is clogged, it won't let you vacuum. It tells you that the filter needs cleaning and the vacuum won't work. And it has sensors and it's really hard to override. Trust me, I've tried it. So if you think, oh shit, the mother-in-law is coming around, the floor is all covered in shit, I need to quickly vacuum, and then this thing's dirty and it tells you it won't work, you've got to wait 24 hours before you can vacuum. Not much use. So I always blow it out with a good old air compressor. And the main reason I purchased this tool is to try and eliminate this tool because basically that's all I use an air compressor for now and air compressors are so noisy it's so big you gotta change the oil in it you have to oil the tools you're using it's just a pain in the bum um, and the only tool I have other than this left is a small Hitachi brad nailer which of course I hardly ever use because I have a lot of cordless brad nailers now so it is nice and small and does get in good spots and stuff but yeah so I want to replace this with this and hopefully it will do it. So I'm going to go and give this a blowout with the um, Makita and see if it's any good. Right, that has just saved me an entire day of drying out, because that'll work fine now. This is yet another stupid filter design. This is a magic filter, according to Samsung. This is out of a washing machine, and it is a lint filter, and you have to empty it every time you use a damn thing, because it gets all this scabby old lint in there, like that. And it's okay pulling it out like that, fine. Yep, get the lint out. But it has all these tiny, super tiny holes. They are so small, and they all just clog up, so you have to clean it out every time, else the thing just doesn't work, doesn't collect the lint. So I usually go over it with this, and blow out all those tiny little holes, and even this doesn't get half of them clean, because they just sticks in those tiny little holes, it's a stupid pain in the bum design. Anyway, I'll go and try it with the new Makita, 
because if it cleans that out fairly good then that's pretty much it I'll be happy so let's just take note of how much light is coming through this thing not a lot a couple of little patches but let's see if we can blow all that out and get a lot more light coming through so how much lights coming through now you can see there's a lot more light coming through but it still hasn't done that good of a job not as good as the air compressor would have done so I'll just give that a zap with the air compressor to show you what I mean so let's have a go at these ones here as you can see at the moment they're pretty solidly gunked up is noisy so as you can see it did get it a lot cleaner than the Makita did um, when this is wet it's not really wet enough at the moment it does blow out a lot easier so this might be all right under the right conditions but at the moment yeah not impressed with it like that unfortunately and it did um hang on I can hear an air compressor leaking away here And I did notice this, when you pull the trigger and you block the end up, it won't try and keep blowing like an air compressor will. It's more like a vacuum, it will cut out, slow down, that sort of thing, so that it doesn't damage the tool presumably, or damage whatever you're trying to blow. So when I had it pushed hard up against here, when it wasn't moving any of this stuff, there's too much restriction there, there's not enough airflow getting through, so this lost power. I'll give you a demo here on my hand. Now I don't know how easy it was for you to hear the changes there but when you block off the nozzle the pressure drops the m machine ramps down and then when you release it it slowly builds back up so if it gets too hot I'm guessing as well it may back off the actual pressure that this thing can put out <coughs> bloody dust but the main reason I use this tool now is to clean other tools you may have noticed I review the odd tool and they get all dusty covered in sawdust covered in cement dust that sort of thing and then I go oh shit I forgot to take a thumbnail I need to take a thumbnail photo put it on YouTube make it all look nice and pretty and so I want the tools looking nice and clean so I blow them all down so that's the task that this new Makita will be used for the most so I guess that's what I should try out next Great for when you can't be bothered taking stuff out of a drawer before you clean it out. Great for blowing down your camera gear. This attachment here is great for blowing your face and cooling you down on stinking hot days like today. I've been using it quite a bit for that. It's very good. Mind you, I don't care which nozzle's on. I'll just blow it straight in my face. It's, um, kids don't try this at home. On the low setting with this on, great to just blow all your clothes down, get all the dust and shit out of your shirt and your pants and everything, and all the shit out of your hair. It's hard to actually imagine a trade or profession where this wouldn't come in handy. This is the nozzle I have on it most of the time, I'm finding. It is, um, yeah, my go-to nozzle. That gets the best sort of jet, I think. But I mean, this thing's so handy for so many things. Cleaning out computers, blowing out electrical boxes. Who wouldn't want one of these for something? It's just so great having a blower in, in this sort of form factor. Just a just like a little drill that you pew, pew, pistol sort of grip. 
much better than a workshop blower when you just want to do small stuff. And I know right now plenty of you are sitting there thinking, yeah, I could use that for whatever I do in my job. I could use it for whatever. Blowing feathers out of cages. Anything. I mean, it's... I can't think of too many... It's just... My wife has already said this thing is living upstairs because she thinks it's going to be great for cleaning. I mean, good for, like, cleaning Venetian blinds and, and just getting into corners of anywhere, drawers and... Yeah. Super handy. So, what are the negative points? We've got to have some negatives, don't we? We can't just be positive on everything. Um, well, here's something interesting. When you pull the trigger and you release it and then try and pull it again really quick, this is what happens. See, there was a bit of a delay there. No big deal. We're on the lower setting here, and I find that the lower setting is still a bit too high. I'd like one that was a little bit lower than that. And so the difference between one, two, and four, you sort of wonder why. I think there's much difference really between three and four. Sort of one needs to be a little bit lower. And I'd rather just have one really high one and one really low one. I don't probably need anything in the middle. But it's a variable speed trigger, but it's not that variable. Um, so. That was it on the lowest setting and on the highest setting. A lot more noticeable on the high setting than the low setting, which is sort of just like two stage, really. Sort of uh, on. And you keep pushing it, and it's not until you get fully depressed that it sort of kicks into a slightly high mode. But even that really low one is still a little bit too much, I reckon. I'd rather have a really fine one for certain things. Um, yeah, and then a full on one. But not a huge complaint, maybe they'll tweak that slightly for the next iteration of the tool. Is there going to be an 18 volt one, I hear you ask? Well, I don't see why not. And if there is an 18 volt one, I'll of course get it and compare it, and then maybe I'll give the wife the 18 volt one and I'll keep this one. Let me know down in the comments what you would use this tool for, because there's just so many things it could be used for, and so many things I haven't thought of, and so many things you can tell me, and I'll go, oh yeah, that's a cool idea. And I mean, it is cool that you can put it through, hey, let's... This is five meters of tubing here let's um just stick it on and see how see how she blows out the other end eh so <laughs> so using it with a tube like that could be very handy too for just you can set this with the trigger on, locked on, and just go around blowing something, blowing off your, your keyboard or whatever, just giving things a good blow. So that is the Makita AS001G blower. I know, I'm just thinking about different things about this all the time, and I'm just looking around my workshop even thinking, oh, I could go dust that shelf off with it. You just do so many little things with it. Very, very handy. Problem is, where do you keep all these things so that you don't lose them? That is going to be an issue for me. It would be nice if they perhaps came in some sort of something they all clipped onto, some little shelf unit thing. Somebody design that and then sell me one, okay? Something that clips, something that takes about, if you can make something that takes sort of about 10 of these so I can get the whole set, clip them all on, um, put them in a box or something, that would be quite handy. I imagine most of the time though, that's the one that's going to live on it, and if I can't find the other ones, I'll just use that. I'm probably going to have trouble even just finding this tool because I imagine it's going to get left all over the place. Might have to buy half a dozen of the damn things. <laughs> so, is this going to replace this? I don't know. It will for a lot of things, maybe most things. This has a bit more control on the speed than this thing. It's a bit harder to control the speed. Uh, but this has the fine point which will blow out tiny little holes as you saw in that filter. Uh, this thing not able to do it and I imagine if you try to throttle it down and make this hole smaller you are going to cause this thing to overheat and lose pressure so it won't actually be any good this may be as small as we can go at the moment with the current technology but it's certainly a step in the right direction and it's a good start and do I need this just to clean out that one filter 
I'll see what happens the next time we do a load of washing and it's all wet and stuff and see if this thing's any good at cleaning it out. But the fact that it doesn't require power, doesn't weigh two tons and doesn't have a 20 meter long hose hanging off it is a big bonus. Thanks for watching guys. What other 40 volt stuff do you want to see? Let me know down in the comments. I imagine you probably want to see that. Won't be too far away. If you can't wait for me to review it, there is a review up on this channel up in the top corner up here. Pretty similar to the sort of stuff I do. It's a new channel. Take a look at that down in the descriptions, comment section somewhere. It'll be listed. There is a simple short video of it. And until next time, go have a blow. Let's just have a look in the back here. Because this looks like it's getting a bit dusty. Sucking in shit while I've been using it. Yeah, getting a bit dusty on there. I'll have to take that out and give it a blow. wonder what I could blow it with. That'll be the phone. See you later, guys.